correct? Yeah, what can he grab here? I mean, Mushi is the Medusa player. If they want to really drag this game out. Working together, and preferably on a Chen or Enchantress. And here, they've got the Jabs Enchantress. They're actually trying to 1v2 against Mind Control's uh, Omni Knight right now. And it seems to be going pretty well. Mind Control's having a tough time getting experience in this lane. In fact, he's being run down pretty heavily here. They have another nuke. They're going to be able to kill him here, I think. As long as the heal barely comes out in time, but they can still run him down, still slow down. That's going to be your first blood for Jabs. Purple Person Eater. They're going to go for the push here. And Mushi, ah, look at the GH. He already knows the escape route. Yeah. Every safe lane player, when they're stuck in the jungle, they try and run through that same area, eat through the trees. GH is one step ahead of him, though. Catches Mushi in the act. Takes down that coal tower. Something I mention in almost every Chen game is that he's almost certainly paired with the Sand King. Yep. Because you can make that combination of plays happen. As Matama Man going to get ran down here. Ah, uh, jabs. Great rotation from behind. Here's Everyone on Liquid. Tornado is doing a lot of work to Matumba Man right now, but if GH can actually close the distance here, catch Moon, there goes the Decrepify, and that should be enough to be able to get the kill. The stun comes in a little bit late from Ninja Boogie, but they might just be able to get a turnaround kill with a big nuke coming out. They are going to get some damage down. The Sand back. back. He's going to try and get him, and it looks like Matumba Man should be able to live here pretty easily. Great save there from Kuroki. Very nice rotation. It's possible, but eventually he does lose his siege wagon, so this is still a win for Mineski, keeping that safe lane tower alive. Back over to mid, GH is going to wrap around behind the tower, does manage to get the stun onto Moon. Matumba Man's here as well. Moon tries to turn up Matumba Man, gets as much nuke damage as he can, while the Brewmaster looks to be able to one-kill. Popping his ultimate and slowing down Matumba Man. Should be a pretty easy one run down here. Yeah. One more right-click. He also very hard to make the rotation over. Right. So GH is down here but it's very uncomfortable for him at this point. Whereas like Miracle, he wanted to be able to take that tower and have movement, like the freedom of movement that he just doesn't right now. Oh, they're gonna try and chase down the Enchantress here. Good save there from Ninja Boogie, stopping that drain. They're gonna turn on to Mind Control here with a pure damage coming out as well as the Brewmaster ultimate. Easy kill here. They're gonna drop all their ultimates just to make sure that that troll Omni Knight does again, die. They catch Matumba, man. He sticks himself out a little bit too far. Kuro's here, try and go for the send back. And it looks like this should be a successful one. Actually, he doesn't have a send back on him. Kuro. A little bit low here, GH does manage to get the stun out, Enchantress ends up going down, Ice 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 dropping fast, does not have an ultimate with the Epicenter able to finish him off. Mineski dive in. Not much else you could do, maybe you could actually take that turn, look at this wraparound though, oh. Mineski. This smoked up. Liquid are thinking, oh, the Brewmaster's gonna come back from his ultimate. We can actually fight this one, but Chen just run into all of this one. They're gonna get the quick kill on the Chen, and Ice 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 is still managed to get out. Mind Control's gonna be slowed down by Mushi. To Grapify to be able to save him a little bit of time here, but Mushi is gonna get another zap pretty soon here. The Repel should fade out, but he hides himself in the trees while Matumba Man pushes back Mookie with the drain. It looks like with the Tinker here, it should be enough to keep Liquid from pursuing. He, this is what he stops, right? And yeah. his team can continue to make that move because he can TP to the creep. Yeah, so they're gonna make an aggressive move here. The Tinker can go ahead and join him at any time. Mind Control is gonna be the one caught here. Repel, ah, nice and snare there by Jabs to be able to stop that TP out. Mind Control thought to himself, I can always repel TP. A lineup that's gonna scale really well into the late game. Yeah, they've got a nice tricor. At the same time, like, TP is sick late game. Yeah. And at oh, bottom, GH. They actually caught the Tinker for once, and they're going to be able to get the Sandstorm on top of him. He just cannot seem to blink out. He's going to get some damage out. He needs to be able to get some save from Ice Ice Ice. No, the damage is going to come out finally. They might get more here. Big trouble here, but Miracle's going to be beat back. Can he get off? He already got off the Sunder. He has nothing to be able to save himself except for Mind Control. Trying to keep him alive with the Repel and with the heals. Beating bad jabs finally does end up going down with the turn with the Brewmaster. They're going to try oh, to get Matumba Man next. The big heal comes out from Mind Control. Able to keep Matumba Man alive and finishes off that Razor. Ninja Boogie is going to Lay waste here. Looks like GH is going to be able to finish him off here as he just runs him down with the right clicks. Matumba Man in the trees fighting up against Ice 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 and Jabs. Nice ward block. Just trying to dodge as long as possible for Mind Control and GH to get here. GH trying to fight in Tantris. They're just going to be able to blow her up and Ice 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 does. And alive the longest. Right. For that to be successful because he's your equivalent to the Omni Knight. He, that he, he has just to continues. match the sustain, right? Exactly. Razor the bottom. dropping lower to Crepify with the extra magic damage. They'll bring him down. GH is going to get a little bit low, but my control is always there with the saving grace. Just pass by each other, and this could be real bad for Mineski. Yeah, this is not a Roshan that they wanted to give up. Oh. And that's a byproduct of the bottom lane push that we were talking about earlier. When yeah. you go for this bottom lane push and you're so honed in on that, Liquid will go for the Roshan. They wanted, I think, to do this a little bit earlier, but the timing is fine anyways. Oh, it's a little bit too late. Mushi's actually going to be in a really bad position. They're going to funnel themselves outside of the Roshan pit and right on. Mushi's corpse. Sick. 
7-Eleven, 21 minutes in. Mineski going for a desperate push here on the Tier 2, but they are going to be met with Liquid Heroes. Nice, nice double, double stun coming out from GH, and the magic damage will burst down one. Ice 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 will complete his TP, though. No cancels there. Plenty of time to be able to split push both mid and bottom lane. Yeah, that was nicely done by Mineski. I, you can hear them in the background, and I think I heard Jabs like shouting commit, like take this tower. Yeah. Jump in, Ice 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 fully committing himself. He does not have his ultimate, so this is just suicide. He wow. is just trying to buy some time, I guess, for the rest of his team to be able to engage here. But Liquid have so much to stay between the pipe and the heels that they are relatively healthy. Mineski not feeling comfortable pursuing here, but at least they do defend their tier two. Coming around the side, GH is in base. He's gonna fight jabs, and they do have the sun. It is a great setup with the repel. They're gonna be able to knock down both of those supports. I was looking for more too with the epicenter four. The Yule Scepter onto Mushi. His rest of his team's a little bit far away though, so Mushi is gonna be able to get away. Nice by GH. Always where he needs to be. The Yimbus runes. Giving him so much opportunity too. GH hunting for Moon Spots. He's gonna find him. Oh, oh, what, what? All right, Yule Scepter. There we go. Follow a burrow strike. Now there is still an opportunity for Moon to maybe get the blink out, but the damage just comes too fast. You don't really want to use it. No, certainly not. But you know that if Liquid managed to take this tier three, unlock shrines, you're gonna get a map control. GH is getting Radiance Burn right now. He's pinging like crazy. Burn. Drunken Haze is gonna be able to buy them some time. So is the static link. Mushi's just gonna commit here. Pops a BKB and takes all of Miracle's damage if possible. Now trying to back away. In the back. Is gonna come for the epicenter. Bro strikes in, managed to finish off Brew and maybe gets Mushi as well. Toss up in the air. He has Maledict on him as well. Looks like they should be able to finish him off here. Mushi turns and fights, but that means Matumba man, he pounces on that one. Managed to get the light drain, tries to get the force stat back. Heal, heal for mind control, keeps him alive. Boulder coming in, but Brewmaster wants to back out. They do manage to grab the tower, and Moon's trying to get low. Surely Liquid should just be happy with this. Oh, here comes Miracle. Miracle. Or he's going to go for Ninja Boogie, already catching him with it. Reflection and the miss percentage chance, not enough to keep him alive. His illusion is just enough to be able to finish him off. The bouncing laser, though, starts coming Was in. Repel. He needs to be repelled up so he can finish off this melee Rax. And he's got Manta here in a second, too. He's going to grab this Rax. Even more. Ice 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 tries to jump the back line. He's not again. Round now in stared as well. But Tumman Man going to keep that life drain with the Chen, knocking him down with the Centaurs. They are absolutely outplaying Mineski now in these team oh, fights. Tinker is going to get caught as well. Moon too desperate to save this bottom lane of Rax. Ends up getting caught as well. And now Liquid can turn what was just a melee Rax into it was a better fight for them than just sitting inside their base getting siege, Jabs. I think. Spotting GH, but they also have an aggressive ward down. Miracle's immediately gonna jump on it. Blinks forward. This is the liquid. They always do this. Always blinking out away from the Roshan pit to try and force the fight. Moon is in this back line. He's gotta get off this constant damage. Ninja Boogie, right in the middle of nowhere, trying to help out Mushi right now with the Brewmaster. He's going for Kuroki, but the Chen is oh, not no that important. Dying. Miracle, that the, that's the important one. He's gonna jump on a Mushi with a reflection, slowing him down, beats him down with all of those illusions. Jump forward by GH, controlling up that Fire Panda to make sure Kuro stays alive. Tinker canceling that TP. No that Ice 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 in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by heroes. He can't really help that whatsoever. Enchantress beat down by Matumba Man's life drain once again. Everyone from Liquid survives, and Mineski don't even try and fight this anymore. They know they are beat for this game one. And Mineski have not gotten a kill in such a long time. At one point, it was the score, they were up 6 to 5, and then the game ends 26 to 8.